you get some, a, a lot of guys that get into, into office, they get elected, and they just want to keep things as is because it's easy to just keep things, you know, the status quo as it is. There's, I mean, some people that think it's, it's safe to try to patch up Obamacare. Um, and I, my concern with that is um, I'm not, you know, like I said, if, if there's somebody that's freezing and they just have this sheet keeping them, you know, that's their only their protection against the elements. I don't want to take the sheet, rip it away from them and, and make them lay out there without anything until we get a blanket to them. I, there are, are protections that I think need to be in place until we get, you know, to a, a single payer system. And I mean, health care for providing health care for everybody um, seems to be quite a big thing to take on. But at the same time, if you look at, you know, our history, United States history, every country that we've we've had a military conflict with has some kind of universal health care. So if it's good enough for everybody else, why isn't it good enough for us? The amount of money that we spend on each bomb blowing the other places up and then you know, sending no bid contractors in there to fix it. It's it's crazy. If elected, will you take a stand on the military budget, the military industrial complex? Oh, absolutely. 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 We were warned about it a long time ago. Um, and it's right. Exactly. His, you know, his, on his his outgoing speech. <laughs> That's just why he laid it out. <laughs> That's why it was outgoing for a reason. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> True. Our military is is unbelievably strong. And and I think for me personally, the best way to destroy an enemy is to make them into a friend. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that everybody wants to be our friend and, and there are people that want to do us harm. Um, and I think we have every right to defend ourselves in, in a quite aggressive manner when that happens. Um, but I don't, we don't need a, all this money that we're spending. You know, when kids are hungry in our country right. and we have enough money to buy a new bomb, to research a new bomb, to kill kids in other countries, that something just basically doesn't seem right there. If you want to spend all this money sending us to war, you need to spend an equal amount on us when we get back, you know, taking care of us physically and mentally. And moving into a different subject that's close to my heart because I have epilepsy and I use cannabis to treat it. How do you feel about cannabis? And I, I, I would be, uh, I would sign anything that would decriminalize it right away. Um, there's no reason I don't see it as being more harmful than alcohol. I think there's a, you know, we have a problem with, with opioid addiction. I see that as an issue. Mm. Um, addressing that and, and treating, treating people, not, you know, throwing them in jail. And, and once they, once they get that tag that they're in jail, it's, it's hard for them to reassimilate back into, into society. For us, um, in the building trades and the iron workers, it's, you know, where do you want to go? Not where have you been? Where do you want to go? You want to be successful? Because if you don't offer employment, you know, and good employment, how is somebody going to supposed to support themselves? And, you know, especially if they have a family, that's, right. that's just wrong. 